Hello, my name is Brandon, and welcome to Retro Reactions, a place where I experience amazing music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s for the very first time. And today we're going to be traveling all the way back to 1976 to listen to Lunar Sea by The Amazing Camel. This one comes from the album Moon Madness. Really excited. You guys have built it up for me. I know by the length and by the group that it's going to be excellent. Uh, the only other thing I know is that it ends with one minute of wind blowing or a wind blowing effect. So that should be cool. You know I love nature sounds, especially when they're a bit bizarre. I don't know how it's going to sound, but I know I'm going to love the song. Anyway, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button, as well as the notification bell to join the Retro Reactions community, where it's all amazing music all the time. Here we go.
full circle moment there. I love that bass line, very striking, caught me early in the song, and now it's back. The do 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 Really, really cool. Some other cool bass lines, but the synths. Ah, uh, you saw my face. You know what that whole section did for me. Incredible, beautiful, brilliant. So much to say about this so far. It's absolutely flying by, and that's making me sad, but I'm loving it. Wasn't sure what we were going to get here. I thought since it has to do with the sea, nighttime, maybe the whole thing would be slow. But I love the changes in tempos and dynamics. We're getting slow and glorious, but we're getting fast and groovy as well. Wow, we're getting everything here. I like that we start quiet with that keyboard and beautiful percussion, setting a dreamy sea-like tone to the whole thing right from the start, putting me right there in the story. Really cool. And then, of course, everything kicks up in tempo, like I said, really, really fast. The BPMs were really, really fast. And we get that you know, interesting bass line that I talked about a minute ago. Really great drums as well during that section. Everything was just fast and high energy. They were really holding my full attention at that point. And I love that they, you know, again, were going so fast, had me moving. I have these mystical images of the sea, fantastical, you know, pictures in my head. But then you add this and it's like a different tangent, but we're still in the sea. Just a quick groovy tangent. Then we get those rich, fat swirling uh, keyboard tones and melodies of course by peter bardens thank you so much peter for that i love that section very very retro sounding you know i love retro it's the name of the channel those keyboard lines were carving their own path and journey into the song and lasting a long while such beauty on my ears again thank you so much peter uh you're at tony level playing in this one incredible super fast parts i loved it all and during all that synth section, you know, we got a new bass line, very nice. But what I really noticed is this really nice but subtle hi-hat work, super fast, really nice, accompanying the synth beautifully. Not too much, but, you know, just subtle enough for my brain to pick up everything as a beautiful whole package. Really enjoying this. I wonder what the second half has to offer. Let's go back a little and find out. <laughs>
wow, so much energy in this song. Did not expect that. So much intensity. You really, really needed that last minute of quiet calm to bring yourself back down. What a journey. A musically insane and musically beautiful journey. Besides all the expert instrumentation they gave us, uh, there was three, you know, water sounds, water motifs that came throughout the song. Uh, I didn't mention the first one, I don't think, which was those amazing water droplets right in the beginning to let us know, you know, we're in the water. It's a water-based song. Uh, and then later on, there was these really cool um, deluge sounds, a little riff with the keyboard, I think. The pew, it was really cool. Just sounded like splashing deluge of water. And then, of course, I just mentioned at the end, the obvious one minute of uh, surreal type waves that we got. So clearly they put a lot of thought into this. You know, how do you construct a song this amazing? Uh, I've written songs. It's kind of hard to imagine writing this kind of an epic song with all these parts. I guess it helps if you have a full band and you're not just one person, but just stellar work, you know, and time and time again, I'm hearing these amazing compositions by these unbelievable legendary bands on my channel. And I'm so, so happy to have these experiences. Apparently super fast is the order of the day here. And that goes for the uh, stellar electric guitar work and the incredible drumming there right after my pause really enjoyed that section. Just so uh, unexpected, you know, turbo speed had me going. I couldn't even keep in time. It was so interesting, so unexpected. This song had, you know, beautiful slow sections, ultra fast sections. And to me that represented, you know, the changing of the sea. Sometimes it's rough, sometimes it's very calm and it can change in a moment back and forth. So I love that metaphor. That's what I got out of it. I was lost in that sea of chaos, that rapid sea of chaos for minutes, but I love how at the end, like I mentioned, they let us cool down. They took everything out slowly and, you know, ended with a final image. I closed my eyes and I saw a beautiful image of a calm sea against the moonlight. Really beautiful, really effective there at the end. Just slow, gentle waves saying, the song is over. And you know, I love the fact that it was like surreal sounding waves, not just regular waves that they could have recorded in nature. So that made it even more dreamy and more interesting on my ears, but still, you know, a nice way to calm down after that beautiful chaos. And of course, a stunning way to end this album. Usually long songs, dramatic epic songs with these really soft endings are the best way to close an album in my opinion. Uh, really excited to hear the rest of it eventually. I wonder what the rest sounds like. I see a lot of really interesting titles here, so I'll have to get back to Moon Madness for sure. Camel is definitely one of the permanent rotation bands on my channel. So obviously no lyrics here, none were needed. This song is clearly about imagery, uh, feeling and mood, and just close your eyes and take it all in, even though it gets very, very fast. I'm gonna give it the Epic Platinum Record Award. Yes, for Lunar Sea by Camel, 1976. Thank you so much, Andrew Latimer, Peter Bardens, Doug Ferguson, and Andy Ward. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below if you wish to chat about this wonderful song or anything by Camel. Would love your feedback. So you take care, stay safe, stay hydrated. This song will do that. And remember to let peace, calm, and light into your day and night. And I'll see you next time in the past.